What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you and unboxing Loot Crate's Lootware t-shirts from June. Yes, I said that right, from June, because I ordered it back in June. This is the Guardians of the Galaxy t-shirts, which is why I ordered that month's shirts. Everything after that weren't really of themes for me, so I haven't ordered any more. But it took three months for June's shirts to arrive. Now, it was supposed to arrive early July, so near the end of July, I emailed them, and they said that they shipped it in early July, that it's my service provider, or sorry, my shipping carrier here in Canada, Canada Post, that is at fault, because they should have gave me shipping information, tracking information, or something. But Loot Crate's the one that has all my contact information, they have all my information, so... Why would Canada Post send me the stuff when I ordered it through Loot Crate? So they were doing all of this stuff, lying, saying it was already shipped and that. But once I received the package, it actually says a shipping date of late August. So whenever they told me they shipped it early July, they actually shipped it late August. So from early July to late August, that's a huge difference for shipping this. And lying in the emails just doesn't rub me the right way. They should have really been looking into it and been honest with me and said, hey, we're experiencing problems or something, it's going to be late. That's understandable, but telling me it's already shipped and blaming Canada Post for it when you guys never shipped it till late August is a completely different story. But enough of that, I'm going to be unboxing the Loot Wear shirts. Now, because it's taken three months, I've already opened it up because I want to make sure it was actually June's shirts because each month is a different theme. And I wanted Guardians of the Galaxy. Every theme after that was not of interest to me. So we're going to check this out here. And I think you guys are going to like it. So, of course, Loot Crate, most subscription boxes, it's a black shirt. But for this, I don't mind because the quality is amazing. So let's show you guys here these shirts. I think you guys are going to love this. I do. There is the Guardians of the Galaxy shirts. Now, it is a, if you guys can see, I'll bring it closer. Each color is a different character from the Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's them in a cartoon figure. So I don't really follow the cartoons or even knew if there was cartoons, but it is still pretty cool. I would have rathered it be more MCU and be the actual characters in each color. That would have been cool, but I do like that it's still them. It's just the cartoon version of them. The logo here... It looks like a retro logo, so it looks really cool, and I really love this shirt. It looks awesome. Now, I always order a 2XL from Loot Crate or other subscription boxes because I find that their sizes are a little smaller. I'm mostly a 1X, but the 1X I've ordered from them in the past is usually feels like a large, so I wanted to one-up it to 2X, so hopefully this fits right. Let's try it on and check it out. Here we are. This actually feels really nice. Now, the only thing I don't really care too much about it is the longer sleeve. I prefer them to be up a little bit. It's almost down really close to my elbow, but I can look past that because it's a really comfortable shirt. Now, with the black shirts from subscription boxes, I find that they're really thick t-shirts to begin with. This one here is really thin, which is why I love ordering from Loot Crates from Loot Crate subscriptions that I got when I received a t-shirt from for two or three years ago, I still have them in my closet and I still wear them to this day. They're really comfortable and the quality is amazing. The comfort level is the best out of any subscription box that I have ever tried. So it does look really nice. It fits perfectly. It's really comfortable. I'm just going to stand up here so you guys can see the full length of the shirt on me. I really like it. It fits me really nice. I like the design. I like how it's not too uh, bright of a design and it looks nice. And it also says Guardians of the Galaxy. It's not so other people that might not know what your shirt is. They don't have to look at it and try to guess. They can see Guardians of the Galaxy. And because it looks like this and it looks nice, it's not too bright of colors. It looks really nice and it's definitely a shirt I'm going to continue to wear and I'm going to be having and keep it for years just because their shirts last a really long time. So even though I did mention in the beginning of this video about them lying to me, will I order again from Loot Crate for Loot Rare, uh, Loot Wear for their shirts? Most likely yes, 
preferably after the pandemic because I'm assuming that's what took a lot of wait time and a lot of problems on their ends. But whenever they tell me that it has shipped early July, they don't know why I haven't received it yet. But the actual package here, which I'm not going to show you the back where it says it because it has my information as well. But on it, it actually says late August is when they actually shipped it with their stamps. So they can't, they shouldn't have lied to me in my opinion. So that to me is a little bit of a game changer. I don't know if I'm going to be ordering right away or as much as I would have liked. I really want to order more shirts, but if they're going to do this in the future and lie about it, I don't know how I feel about that. If I see a theme for a t-shirt for a specific month coming up that I think I might like, I might order it. And even if it is another three months till I receive it, it is what it is. If it's a shirt like this that I'm really going to like, why not? But the lying is really what got me for this one. It is a really nice shirt. That's what the focus is on this. And I do like it. It just took a lot longer than expected. So I do like this shirt. Um, I can't remember what I paid. I think with shipping, it's close to $20, which is what to expect to get from a t-shirt these days. This is a really nice, high quality t-shirt. It's not even a thick print, which is something that usually alarms me because thick prints I find in the washer, they seem to crack or wear off a lot easier and possibly some of them rip off or they also make me sweat a lot. And this one here is really nice. It's thin, it's flexible, it's nice. The shirt is comfortable. It's really nice material. I absolutely love the shirts from Loot Crates. So more than likely, I am going to order from them again in the future. I just honestly wish that they didn't lie about everything that they did. But I am going to leave this video here. Comment down below what you guys think of June's shirts. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I have a lot of great things coming up very soon. A lot of new things coming on the channel. And I'm excited to share that with you all. So if you guys want, like and subscribe to see the new content. I have a lot of stuff. Some sponsorships that are coming my way. And a lot of great things that are happening on the channel right now. So I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.